It's the weekend and hubby and I are checking off another project in our kitchen. We're working on our kitchen island and you see those boxes over there? We are installing some organizers for the cabinets in the kitchen island. So if you're interested in seeing what we're doing today, just keep on watching. Now my hubby is over here being Speedy Gonzalez, ready to work, doing a little demo on the kitchen island. Our kitchen island was showing a little wear, so we wanted to update it without tearing it all apart. So of course, we got a little jelly when we did <laughs> my son's bar over at his town home. So we wanted to do a little accent on our kitchen island. So we are taking out a little molding, these two corbels that are gorgeous that I am going to recycle. I'm not throwing them away. And we're gonna add our little touches to the kitchen island. Now these corbels were tough to get out, but we eventually got them out and we ended up scraping the area as well as sanded the island. Now here's my hubby adding the first pieces of trim or MDF on the island. We're framing it out first. Guys, if you have the proper tools, it makes your job, your DIY much easier to do in your own. Now to bring the accent or the design alive on the kitchen island, hubby is building squares. We're adding squares or inserts to the island. He's making sure it is straight. And here are more pieces being added to bring this design to life. Now we are adding a design to each side of this kitchen island as well as the front. Now I am going in with the caulk gun, making sure I fill in every piece of trim. I do not want to see any gaps. <laughs> 
Now we took a trip to Home Depot to pick up a can of Bears paint. And I'm going to open it up and share with you the color I'm going to paint this kitchen island in. <laughs> can you guess what color? I'll give you a minute. Drum roll, it is black. Black. <laughs> this color is called, I think, limousine leather. I absolutely love it. Love it. Love it. So, as you can see, I am on one side of the kitchen island. Hubby is on the other. We're going to knock this paint job out. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? By the way, the paint is a semi-gloss interior. <laughs> now, I asked my hubby, why didn't you remove the cabinet doors and he thought about it after <laughs> he started painting but we made it work anyway I don't know about you, but I enjoy doing projects in my home, especially with my sidekick. <laughs> my favorite thing to do is paint. Um, I love painting, whether it be a room or like we're doing here, uh, the kitchen cabinets or the kitchen island. I just enjoy doing that, and especially with my hubby. And once we finish a project, we can sit back and say, yes, we did that. We worked it, didn't we? <laughs> and growing up, I saw the exact same thing, the exact example. My mom and my dad working together, accomplishing DIYs in my childhood home. So before I share with you the finished project of the kitchen island. I'm taking you into this one cabinet where I want to install these organizers that are ordered from Amazon. They're pull-out organizers. When we first moved into this home, this cabinet had a sink installed in it and I had it removed so you see the piping back there, the cut off. And I have pretty much in every cabinet pull out drawers. I was blessed with that moving into this home. So I wanted some in this particular cabinet as well. It doesn't match the ones I have throughout the kitchen, but it will work, right? I will have the link to these organizers listed below in my description box. Now here is hubby installing the slide out bracket for the organizer and 
he is placing it in the cabinet. I am so, so excited about this feature in this cabinet. And here it is. Now I do or will go back and paint the doors as you can see, the inside of the doors and a little bit of the trim. I'll do that later. But for now, <laughs> I'm just super excited <laughs> about these organizers. And here is the reveal of my modern kitchen island. Oh, mm, my goodness. <laughs> it looks like a piece of heavy furniture, a beautiful piece of heavy furniture sitting in the middle of my kitchen. We love it. My sons walked in and they said, wow, <laughs> we love it. Now my oldest son, he installed those under cabinet lighting on his bar and I have placed an order for those lights as well. So I will be installing them as soon as they come in. But I can check this project off our to-do list. Now we have several more projects to do in the kitchen. We're not gonna do them all at once. I know we've been busy lately in the kitchen. <laughs> but I have a few more things that I want to do in the kitchen, but I have other projects as well that I want to do in our home. So if you're interested in seeing updates and upgrades for your home, stay tuned. By the way, this was done under 150 bucks. Very affordable transformation. I was a little concerned about the hardware because I recently installed hardware on my cabinets but they look just as good on the black as they do on the white let me bring in the bar stools to add that extra wow factor <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness I love this pop of black in the center of my kitchen. Would you do something like this? Would you change your kitchen island or your bottom cabinets to a different color than the upper cabinets? Leave me a comment below. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, Follow me on all of my social media sites and shop my Amazon store. All of those links can be found in my description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. You take care. You be blessed. And I'll see you on the very next video. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Please be safe out there. And I'll talk to you real, real soon. Love you guys.